Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sergeant Jeremy Burkett with Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. I've got a statement prepared that I'm going to read concerning the events that occurred yesterday and today here in Bibb County. Yesterday, Wednesday, June the 29th, two deputies with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office were shot on Golfer's Trail near Alabama 25 here in Bibb County, Alabama. The suspect, who was later identified as 26-year-old Austin Patrick Hall, fled the scene. A multitude of local, state, and federal law enforcement partners responded to the scene and a massive manhunt ensued. Hall was located and taken into custody at approximately 7.30 a.m. this morning, June the 30th, by the United States Marshal Service, the Gulf Coast Regional Fugitive Task Force near the 1200 block of Bulldog Bend Road in Briarfield, Alabama. Hall was transported and has been placed into a local area jail. Hall's arrest and capture was a joint effort led by the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. At this time, I would like to introduce Bibb County Sheriff, Mr. Jody Wade. Sheriff. Thank y'all for coming today. We're glad for the resolution of this case. Um, we're thankful for the recovery of investigator Chris Poole, who's been released to the hospital and is recovering from his gunshot wound. We ask that you continue to remember Deputy Brad Johnson's family in your prayers as they're still with him at the hospital. And he's going through the final processes to continue to save lives. It's been said that a coward dies a thousand deaths, but a hero but one. Brad Johnson was a hero. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Before I go any further, I, I would like to share on behalf of Secretary Hal Taylor and the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency and for all the first responders that were out there on that scene last night, our deepest and most sincere condolences and thoughts and prayers are with Deputy Poole and absolutely Brad Johnson's family for everything that they've had to endure and as they continue to cope with this tragedy. This concludes the press conference. We will not be taking any additional questions at this time. However, you may submit any media request to media.relations at and we'll be glad to share additional information as it becomes available. Thank you.